you know, two or three videos ago, I was showing you that dust collector that I had. You know, this one here with the dust cyclone on it. It works great. I mean, this is a good brand. The old night is a good brand. Do you know that shopping app, Timu, Tamu, Tamu, whatever they call it? Well, I do buy some things from them. They actually have American warehouses now. So you get things in a week instead of a month, which is kind of nice. Well, I was scrolling across there and it said I could get this thing for free. All I had to do was buy $25 worth of stuff. Well, what I got was some kitchen canisters. But that's not what this video is about. When I bought those canisters, I got to choose some free items. I know, it's, it's a gimmick, but hey, I've gotten some decent stuff off there, I guess. So one of my free items that I got was this. The Pimidor Double Filtering Cyclone Separator. That looks fancy, look at that on there. Well, hey, let's open this up. So this is what you get got instructions. Does that make sense? At least it gave me a little diagram right there so I can cut the hole for this part here. Got one of these. Don't know what it is. I got this thing. I don't know what it is. A couple hose clamps. I don't know. These look like some kind of adapters or couplings. Got a seal. I think the seal goes inside this. So let's just put that right there. I think this goes with this here. Hey, nuts and bolts, a big old gasket. I think that goes on top of this thing right here. And this here is the main part of the cyclone. This is the part that hooks to your bucket. Then we got this fancy thing here. I don't know, kind of reminds me if you look at it, it's like a turbocharger. Maybe this is a turbocharged cyclone. I don't know. in that last video, I was trying to find something. Well, I went out and bought another one. What's different about this kind of lid is it's a screw top lid. See, I can screw it out. Then I can see you. Well, these cyclone things, they're made to go on the lid. Then you, this here gets full, you pull the lid off. Well, when you get a nice lid to hook onto one of these, they are a pain to get off. So I'm gonna put this on here and I'm going to turn it upside down. This here will screw in the bottom and then I can mount this up here. Well the first thing I need to do is cut out this little template right here and it's tore already in the box. See it's already tore but I can work around that. We'll keep those just in case I need them later. I got to make sure this is centered in here. I'm going to drill a hole right there. Now, pretty cool, I guess, I don't know. There's the hole in the bottom of the bucket, and that's where this thing here is supposed to sit. Now I need to mark the holes there. And what you want to achieve, I guess, is that right there, the big hole and four small holes. I was trying to figure out how am I going to find the holes to mount in this gasket right here. Then I discovered, if you can see it right there, I don't know if that'll show up, but they already got little holes cut out in this. So you just remove that out of there, and just like that I got four holes. There you go, you can kind of see them. The Oneida didn't come with it. Okay, so now we got to mount these four screws in here. Put you on there. Let's go ahead and put you around there. Just to let you know, these bolts and nuts and everything are eight millimeter. And this is what you want, I guess. Kind of like the other one. I really don't like the way that's wobbly, but it's stronger than the lids that are normally on these. Okay, I'm gonna look at the picture here. So we got this right here, okay? And then looks like this goes on top of that. It's what it looks like. This here is supposed to go on here. But it goes on there, and then you gotta put bolts in here. One bolt there. So far, this is what we have. I don't know how good you can see that. Well, I don't know how good you can see this. It sure is fancy looking. Now we got this here. To me, this reminds me of like a moisture collector on like airlines or something. 
So let's put that on there. Let's get my lid hooked on here now. Probably should have put this on first. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Having to always empty this and pulling that hard lid out of there. No. That'll screw in there like that. So just follow the directions on the deal. It's going to be trial and error because they don't give you really precise instructions. You just kind of look at the diagrams and go by there. But this is what it looks like when it's done. Let me get my shop vac out and get it hooked up and we'll try this out. Well, I forgot to hit record. It was pretty cake. This was all pretty solid, but I got it all blown out, but I will be buying a new one of these. I've had this thing for about four years and I got it used. It probably needs a new one. Let's get this back together. Now I'm gonna have to figure out how to hook the hose up from my shop vac to this new dust collector. Well, I got it hooked up the best I could. My hose actually fit on the top and my hose fit on right here. I use a two inch coupling system so I have a hose like this here that hooks to like the table saw or whatever. And then I just plug it into here. Then I turn the suction on and it works. Well, let's turn this on and see if it's gonna work. Let's see here. Let me. Pretty cool. Whoa. That's pretty good suction right there. Well, it didn't have much sawdust that I can do a test on, but so I went ahead and emptied that old bucket that the other cyclone was on. There's a little bit of dust in there. So let's try this thing out. I guess that's what that little clear thing for is to collect the fine dust. I don't know. But I can tell you one thing. I don't know how good you can see that there, but you don't want the suction to get closed up because it will pull the sides of the bucket in. And let's see how much dust is in this bucket right here. Okay. Well, let's see. Try to hold this up. Oh wow, it's a lot of dust in there. Okay, got my butt straightened out. So what's my review on this? I don't know. Looks like it's gonna work. It does have suction, but I can't, you know, but I need to put it to a, a real test, you know, hook it up to the table saw, miter saw, that kind of stuff. But I'm not there yet, but it looks like it's gonna work. I think these are like, 30 bucks normal, maybe a little bit less. If you're looking for a dust cyclone for your wood shop, this here is a good alternative. At least it's cool looking. Well, hey everyone, thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell if you want notifications when I upload a video. And as I always say, see ya!